Hey, it's Jeff Summers with Watch You Know, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Ornit Maestro. Now, I highly recommend before you watch this review that you check out my unboxing. Because when I first purchased this watch, I got a bag of bolts instead of the watch. Um, odd. <laughs> Has anyone else received a bag of bolts? But anyways, uh, after I called Amazon, uh, they actually did send me the watch and I'm excited to review it today. So, let's waste no more time and get right into it. Okay, so we have this Orient watch, which is the Orient Maestro. Everybody calls it the Maestro instead of the R-A-A-C-O-E-5-N-10-A, which is the brown version of this. So I'm going to refer to it, as everyone else does, as the Orient Maestro. We have applied markers that are a rose gold coloring. Orient Automatic is up top. And we have, of course, one complication, which is the date at 3 o'clock. The watch is 40 millimeters in diameter and lug to lug, it is 46 millimeters. The watch is 11.9 millimeters thick and it does have a signed crown. Uses a mineral glass, which is flat as you can see here. It is water resistant to 100 meters, has a simple push pull crown. I can show you the operation of the watch, which is really, really quite simple. You just pull the crown out, first position, and you go this way to adjust the date. You never really want to adjust the date when the time is between 10 and 2. It's not good for the watch. So you pull it out to the next position and that's how you adjust your hands. I mean, really simple. When I pulled it out, you can see the movement stops, the second hand stops, so it is hacking. And of course, it is also hand winding. On the back of the watch, we see the Orient F6722 automatic movement. It has 22 joules, it's not the most decorated of movements. You're not gonna find that in this price range. It'll give you 40 hours of power reserve and beats at 21,600 beats per hour. You're gonna lose anywhere from uh, 15 seconds a day to possibly gaining 25 seconds per day with this movement. It's polished stainless steel set on this mesh strap which is nice and refreshing to see a company like Orient putting the watch on a mesh strap. And an advantage of the mesh strap is they're really super comfortable and easy to adjust. Basically what you do, oh, it's Gumby. Hello, Gumby making an appearance. Anyway, anyways, you flip this up and then you can move it along to adjust to your wrist size and it will fit perfectly. Then you just press this right down. We also see on the buckle, Orient once again with their logo. Whoop, Gumby's gone. There's a one year warranty on this watch from Orient and it'll run you around $150. It might be a little bit more on the Orient website as often if you order directly from the manufacturer it's going to be a little bit more pricey than finding it on ebay or amazon but then you might have uh, more security with getting the watch and not a bag of bolts like i did originally let's take this watch outside and see what it looks like in the sunlight Right outside with the Orient Maestro. Let you see what it looks like out in the sun. There we go. That nice mesh band. Excellent. First, let me start with the things that I really like about the watch. 
One is that there are a lot of options with the Maestro. You have six different color options and three different uh, strap options. There's a leather strap, stra strap? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I coined it right there, a strap. Um, the leather strap, the mesh strap, and then a more traditional type of a bracelet. I really love this. I think it's terrifically comfortable and it's really comfortable because with the way that you adjust a mesh bracelet, you can get the absolute perfect fit. And besides that, it just feels good against the skin. I also like the simplicity of the dial. You could dress it up with a suit or a jacket or just use it as an everyday watch uh, with jeans and a t-shirt. With the Orient watches, you also have a, a unique thing that is really hard to find in this price range, and that is having an in-house movement. So the movement is not outsourced to another company. Everything is made at the Orient factory. So that's really cool. I like how the date window does not distract the dial. And by that, I mean what they did with the Maestro watches, and they don't do this with the, uh, any other Orient watches that I know of, is that they actually color in the back of the date window. So the background of the date window is essentially the same color as the watch, or at least near it. This watch is a great bang for the buck. And that's really what this channel is about. Uh, you get a lot for your money. And I, I like to show you watches that you get a lot for your money. So at, on the Orient website, this goes for $185. You're not going to find it probably because it's continuously sold out because it's such a great watch. You'll probably have to go to another buying source such as Amazon or eBay or something like that as I did and you can find it less than 185 I found this for 150 things I don't like about the watch I think that the decoration of the movement is a bit crude the whole movement's a little bit on the crude side it's really basic yeah yes it does have hacking and hand winding but there's nothing super special about it and I guess you can't figure to have something extraordinarily special in this price range but i just think they could have tweaked it out maybe adding the coloring of the orient logo like they have on the dial and putting that on the rotor just to give it a little pop so it's a little bland for me in that regard uh winding the crown does not feel good uh, it is, it feels rather cheap. I don't, I, it's hard to really explain unless you do it yourself and that you can't really get from a review, but I really don't like the winding action of it. Um, it's a real minor thing, but it's not my favorite as far as that goes. This is a great watch that's versatile and made by an extraordinarily reliable and awesome company as Orient, which has been around since 1950. You can't find a lot of watches like this for the price. So it makes it a fabulous bang for the buck watch. And I recommend it highly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next watch review. So have a good day, good evening, good night, whatever time it is. And take care. Bye.